Okay, go. So we're going to try to make ourselves a gasket for this valve. This is a Fisher E-body valve type 667 actuator. And someone put a really ugly looking silicone uh, gasket in here. We're going to try to make our own homemade gasket using thin cardboard. In this case, this is cardboard material from a spiral bound notebook. What I'm going to do is lay this over and get a rough shape of the circle. So I can cut with a pair of scissors. Just a rough shape. There we go. marking it like that. I'm going to cut larger than the shape. So I have plenty of extra cardboard to work with. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to get a pair of scissors and make the first initial cuts. Cutting larger than my marks, just make sure I got plenty of extra. And there goes the rest of the notebook. Okay, cool. So now, here's my cardboard. I'm going to have to have a spot in the middle for the valve stem to go through. So right with the actuator stem, I should say. So there's the actuator stem. Let's get ourselves a hammer here. So right there I've got a nice clean mark for where the stem is. Isn't that cool? What I want to do is cut around that. I actually want a diameter that big. So what I'm going to do is push that down. I can actually take this and tap it. And you'll see when I do that, Use the ball side too. I can make a mark on the paper. See how that works? Now on the job, you probably won't be doing something this crude. You'll probably have money. And with money, you can buy a real rebuild kit and get the actual gaskets. But we don't have money. That's what makes us special. Here's hold on the hammer. I'll get the uh, scissors. Now what I'm going to do is take this. I can be a little bit larger than that. That's no problem. So I can take the scissors here and go a little bit larger than that circle that I just marked out. If I were to tap that hard enough, I might actually be able to cut through the cardboard with the impact of the hammer. However, since that's kind of a rounded edge, it may not be easy to do. So I'm just going to cut it like this. A little bit larger in the circle, and we'll see how well it fits. All right, so right there, I've got myself a gasket that fits over. Okay, set the scissors here, give me the hammer again. We need to make sure there's an air hole here. This is very important, this is where the air comes in. I want to block that off. So set that in place, take the hammer. There's my hole. Isn't that cool? Amazing. <laughs> All right, right there. And again, that doesn't have to be exactly shaped. I can cut around that. In fact, I will, just to give myself room, plenty of extra room for the air to make it in. I should be teaching little kids this in yeah. <laughs> kindergarten. Okay, kids, get your ball-peen hammer. All right, so what I'm going to do now, a couple things here. First, I'm going to tap on the outside. Now my goal here is actually to cut all the way through the cardboard, and I will. See how that's separating right there? Outside. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, coming in here, I'm going to do the bolt holes. Right there, there's one. Next one's over here. Now 
next one's over here. Next one's over here. Next one's over here. See how the shape of the hammer, the ball of the hammer works really nice for this? We'd never be able to do this with the flat end. You'd have to use the ball end. It can sink down a bit into that hole. And then over here, final hole. Okay. In fact, you see how well it cut out the cardboard. We'll have to dig that out later. Take these sections here, tear them out. There is your homemade gasket. So dig those pieces out and we are done.